Our next question is, um, so as we know, yesterday we have a specific session for USP, talked about USP um, revision. Um, so um, I think in the session, um, there's discussion of removing the apparatus um, classification of models A, B, C, but just uh, including the apparatus principles in the USP. Um, as we know, in addition to USP models A, B, C, there are other models of diffusion cells that are essentially the same um, in design and uh, uh, operational principles. So um, I think um, the revision in the future USP, uh, the uh, general chapter for the uh, 1724, will bring more flexibility to applicants, users in selecting equipment for IVRT, IVPT studies. But um, on the other hand, I think the flexibility will also bring more challenges from, um, I mean, um, you know, from both um, applicants and also reviewers standpoint. So which apparatus uh, is suitable for an IVRT or IVPT study on a specific drug product or a specific dosage form? And what types of, you know, what type of apparatus would be um, an op appropriate choice? I would like to invite our panelists to share, you know, your thoughts on what the key aspects or principles um, a user and applicant should consider when selecting an apparatus for their IVRT, IVPT studies. <laughs> you know, we would really love to, to hear from you. Uh... Uh, you know, well, Callis, maybe you could comment briefly since, uh, since uh, you know, you're uh, leading a lot of what's going on with uh, 1724. Uh, you're on mute right now. Right, you're on mute. Can you repeat the question? I was paying attention to the chat and I thought I would answer. That. <laughs> sure. um, so, um, so, go ahead, Sam. No, no. Uh, uh, okay. The, the the question really related to the fact that we're taking away those diagrams now, uh -huh. uh, or we're looking, we're considering um, being less prescriptive about you know this measurement and that measurement and and this uh, particular diagram for models A, B, C, and so forth, um, and more moving toward the generalized concept of the design for a vertical diffusion cell or a flow through diffusion cell, uh, and that this becomes you know on the on the one hand it increases the um, uh, the ability of people to innovate and to develop uh, you know, uh, new and improved systems that have some very nice user features, uh, but it also makes it very challenging from uh, a reviewer's perspective to know whether something may have now been introduced into the design uh, that may be problematic in the way that it was used in a particular IVRT or IVPT study. So yeah. So we uh, we have tried to come up with a generalized uh, criteria in 1724 to to add more flexibility for the users to be able to use different uh, you know apparatus that as long as they can meet the general criteria and qualify their apparatus then I think it would be appropriate to be able to use that apparatus. Uh, this way, uh, you know, you you're not restrict. We are not restricting the uh, instrument uh, availability to for to be used for the different vendors because now there are uh, many more vendors back in uh, time when 1724 was first drafted we had just a few vendors of ivrt apparatus or vertical diffusion setup vendors and now we have many more so that is one reason to to re go away from the from the um, criteria and have a generalized uh, criteria for for apparatus to be used by VRT and IVPD. So, you know, I, I know we're, we're late on time, so I'll say that you've seen in the presentations today that there are so many variations, even from a single manufacturer, that if we were just to include those exact diagrams and dimensions and all, that would become a catalog of different products. And so instead, I think the, you know, as John has said, and I think many others have said that when it comes to the IVRT studies, uh, the vertical diffusion cell 
in a lot of very kind of variations of it, but vertical diffusion cell for IVRT is a, uh, you know, it's typically a, a, a good apparatus to utilize. And we've talked a little bit about the, the emergent cell can also be utilized. Um, for IVPT, again, the vertical diffusion cell in its various designs is a good apparatus to utilize. Uh, and the inline flow through diffusion cell is also a very good apparatus to utilize. So I think in general, these are time tested and kind of workhorses of IVPT and IVRT studies. Um, for the control parameters, we've talked a little bit about that. You've done a really nice job, Rong, of kind of walking us through the fact that the equilibration of the system, the temperature being maimed at the surface of the membrane, and the qualification of the system so that you know that it's sustained through the experiment. I think these are the key things that can be submitted to reviewers to show that you qualified your apparatus, whatever it was, that you were intentional in the way that you set up your protocol, and that you were thoughtful in the way that you kind of monitored the study to make sure that the study was under the, um, you know, what the conditions that you thought it was. I think, uh, you know, that may be the most helpful comment that that I'm able to offer with uh, uh, within the short time here.